So in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how you can take a simple product photo, if you're trying to create your own listing, put it into Photoshop, and um, that's the tool that I use for all of this. I know that some of you don't have access to Photoshop, but some of you might. So if you do, this is for you. If not, no big deal. Um, and then go from there. So I'm going to be doing this on a Mac, but this is so you can make a photo ready to be put on Amazon. So I'm going to show you something that I do for the Ball State store here. Um, I'm on a Mac. I'm going to two-finger click, open with Photoshop. That is going to pull up this wonderful little picture here. So we get down in this. This is a pretty high-quality photo. If you guys are wondering which camera I use, this is my iPhone. Yep, that's all it is. It's an iPhone. Um, nothing crazy here. I just laid it out on a desk. I just need it to be some straight, nice lines for me here. It's what I'm looking for overall, and I don't care about the background. I want the lines. Now, a lot of you probably have heard, hit the magic wand, which over here you have a big selection of items. You hit a magic wand, it selects items that are similar in color. Okay, so if I click this, it's going to start picking up on the things that are similar. Well, I don't really want that. So what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to take what is here. If you hold down, it's going to pop up these. So you may see the lasso tool symbol, you may see the polygon lasso, or you may see the magnetic lasso tool. For what I'm going to show you, we're going to want the poly po polygonal lasso tool. Okay. So all I'm going to start off by doing is clicking. I'm going to drag it to a point. I'm going to click, drag it to another point, click, drag it, click, click. You can see what I'm doing. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm not trying to get super close. I don't want to go and trim it out yet. I'm just trying to get this a little bit more manageable. And we're going to move it over to another side so that we can do some closer editing. So next thing is I'm going to wait till you see the little circle come beneath it, connect it, and then on my Mac I'm going to hit Command X. It's going to remove that for me. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new file. It's going to be new and to make sure we're within Amazon's requirements, I'm going to make the height of this 1500, okay? The reason is this is more of a long picture than a short or than a wide picture. So I'm going to put the, the width at 1200. This is in pixels, in pixels. You see I'm at 72 pixels an inch. I'm in the RGB scale, and I have a transparent background. That is something you need to make sure you have on there, okay? So all I'm going to do is hit OK. So now that I have this pretty big thing, I'm going to hit Command V. I'm going to paste it. So now I'm going to have this image in here, and you can see it's not the right size. So what am I going to do? I'm going to hit Command T, and that's going to allow me to resize it. So now that I'm at the corner of this, I'm going to hit my Shift button to keep the proportions the same. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to drag it down again. I'm going to get this where the majority of it is within my box. Okay? So that looks about right. So then I'm going to hit enter and we are set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit here. And that's a two finger movement on my pat or my Mac here. And I'm just going to use my polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to start here. I'm going to click up this. Okay? Anytime it moves, I'm just going to click it. We're going to try to keep as many straight lines as possible. But still, I'm just going to click this out here. Keep it real nice and close. See, it's going to go up in this, here, here. It's going to get out to here. Now I'm going to pull it all the way out here, all the way down here. I'm going to connect it there. Then I'm just going to hit the delete key. Now I've I've cropped that out. Okay, so now we're going to continue to do this here. See, this is a little harder, but we can still do it. Now you're going to realize you're going to have a little bit of bumps, but we are in such great detail here right now. Only if you're in zoom mode will you actually notice these. Okay, so we're just going to click down through it, click down through it, boom, boom. I'm going to go around the corner here just a little. See, we're going to keep pretty close. Sometimes I'll cut into the image. I'm okay with that because the little baby butt is going to be fine if I cut into it a little bit. I just don't want the desk showing. The desk is unprofessional. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to do this. You're going to see me zoom out a little bit now. I'm going to click out here so I can crop and make sure I get everything out of this. Click here. I'm going to come back. 
It shows me I'm way up here somewhere. That's okay. If I want to finish this off, all I do is I go back to where I need to start at, which is here. Close it. It's going to select it. You see the kind of moving dashing lines? Delete, and that's gone. Oh, crap, I missed a spot. That's fine. All I'm going to do in here is I'm going to take this line. I'm going to click it over here. Down, I'm going to box that out or triangle that out and delete. Okay? So I'm just going to finish this out by going over here. I'm going to try to knock this out real quick so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me. I'm going to do a bigger chunk now. I already have this fully imaged, but I just want to get you guys kind of the basics of what we're doing here. So you're going to see we just keep along the lines. Can't see the lines, can you, Russ? Type of thing. Go in here. Boom. 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 Let's run it up here. I don't care if this is completely square or not. You can go and make that a little nicer if you want. Let's go ahead and cut into that. Boom. You're going to see I'm rough chopping it now, but you guys get the idea behind this. If you wanted to keep the tag in, you can. I'm going to crop right through the tag. I don't really want it. See I'm up here. Let's just go right there. Let's bring it down. Takes a little bit of uh, steady hands, but I am doing this just with a, a laptop here. Okay, so we're going to pull this around, get it so it comes up and around everything else. We need to get back to where we want to connect at without touching the part we want to crop off. So we're going to connect them and delete. So now you'll see I have a fully cropped image. All I need to do up here is double click, yeah, yeah, and it's gone. I didn't select any pixels and it's gone. So now I have this image that is fully cropped out and done. So all I need to do is go in and hit save as. We'll do onesie. I didn't spell that right, one Z. We're going to save it as a JPEG on the place that you want it saved. We hit save. It's going to, if we want to replace it, I already have one there. So it's done. So you want to see what the final product looks like. Let's open this puppy up. Let's go to the desktop. It said I had a onesie here. Here's what the final product looks like. It's on a white background. It is clean, crisp, and cut out. And you're able to upload that straight to Amazon. Now you'll see this is a little bigger. This is actually going to a GoDaddy store when I was doing this. But you want to keep the margins pretty trim on these. So make sure it stretches out to everywhere. But you now have a product that you've taken a photo with an iPhone. This came off my iPhone. And it is high enough quality resolution for you to upload straight to Amazon to create your own product listings.